Okay, we've come to this home today to see what security measures they have in place. Hopefully we can learn something to make your home more secure. Let's get started. The front of this home exhibits some good security arrangements and is comparable to the rest of the homes in the street. You've got a key locked gate, which is a very good feature and can be opened from the inside, triggered by the two-way intercom video on the uh, gate here. You've also got no material in the letterboxes to indicate nobody was home. The driveway gate is in fact locked, which is a good. Even though we've got uh, shrubbery on the fence itself, there are roses and, and in fact in themselves are a deterrent for anyone trying to jump the fence, even though they act as a cover. Let's go inside and see what other security arrangements are in place. Now that I'm in the front yard of this particular home, what I really like is the security camera. It's beaming back images straight into the home for the occupier to see who's at this particular location. Also the motion sensor security light, which is great support of a night time. Also mailboxes. Don't forget to divert your mail and junk mail if you are going away. Even during the day, make sure you clear out the letterboxes because they're the things that the crooks are looking for. Having come closer to the front of this house, it's very pleasing to see another security camera that's capturing what's happening in this front yard. Also a security sticker on the window. In itself acts as a deterrent to any would-be thief. We've got high fences on both sides of this house that stops anyone jumping over the fence. Also the fact we've got the yard clear of any tools, ladders, shovels and the likes, which may assist a would-be burglar. I've now come to what I call the blind side of the house. Again, it's pleasing to see another security camera quite high taking in this whole area. Also motion sensor security lights, which is great to see. Being a thoroughfare, we've got a high fence, which is great, and a side gate. However, the side gate, having a slide bolt on it, needs a padlock to stop these bad guys getting in. I'm now at the entrance of this particular home, and I'm liking very much the strong security door, which is made of steel and key locked. Again, one of the main areas if they're going to make any entry. You've got a doorbell that alert anyone inside that someone's at the front door. You've also got another security sticker as a deterrent. And what I also like is the fact of the strong, sturdy, solid wooden door that's going to stop anyone kicking that door in. Okay, we're in the front entrance of this particular home. And I'll draw your attention to the fact the alarm control unit is right here, which gives you the easy access as you're leaving the home to, reach, to set it. Also lighting. Lighting plays a major role in deterrence against offenders for the night time, be it on a timer or motion sensors, which is great. As you can see here, front door of solid construction. Three separate locks. The deadlock, again once keyed and the key removed, is going to stop any entrance from splashing that window in the hand in there. And you've got the safety chain. Again, quite valuable for um, people being home on their own. And we've also got a motion sensor for the alarm. Because this is the most vulnerable area. This is the first area that the thief will be attending to, to try and gain entry. I've now moved into the living area of this particular home. And what I'm impressed with is the intercom video, which is linked to the front gate. So when you complete safety, you can see and hear what's going on at that front gate before any bad guys get anywhere near you. Also, we've got a motion sensor for the alarm, which covers this whole area. On all the windows, which are the most vulnerable point, we've got locks on each window. And more impressively, the back door has got a double locked security bolt that goes some distance into the other door. Again, quite secure and it's key locked. So if the bad guys do get in from another location, they can't get out that way. Most important, have those locks in place to keep the security of the home. Here we have the result of all the security cameras that I pointed out earlier in relation to the security of this particular home. As you can see, you can have a live feed within the own safety of your home. Also, it records to a digital recorder, which you would have secured somewhere else within the home. With the digital recorder, it gives you the option to be able to send any recording or give any recording to any police or law enforcement that might need it in relation to identifying any person that enters your home. It also gives you the ability to be able to look on your smartphone or your tablet to be able to see what's happening at home. To give you that peace of mind that your family and your home are still secure wherever you may well be. Okay, as you would have seen, there's a lot to like about the security of this particular home, which can even be too complacent. There's always more that can be done. I'm Charlie Bazina, and I'll catch you next time.